Hey, hey, it's Dana, the Gypsy Psychic. Are you ready for another message? Come on in and get comfortable. Put your feet up, get your blanket, a pillow, something to eat, something to drink, something to smoke. Throw it up on the big screen if you want to. Put in the earbuds, kick back, and relax because we're going to unpack some psychic messages. Hey, hey, you guys, how's it rolling? If you're new to the channel, welcome. Come on in. Let's talk about some things. It's going to work the way that it always works. I'm going to shuffle and pray. I'm going to lay out a whole bunch of cards. I will thoroughly confuse you for a good solid minute while I sew together a story. If you're coming back to the channel, come on in. You know exactly what to expect. Snuggle up to this table right here and let's talk about some things. As always, it's about you because of you and wouldn't be without you. Everybody subscribe because it makes me happy and it helps me to keep motivated to do YouTube videos. There is a super thanks button that you can smash anytime you want to. And if you hang around to the end of the video, I will tell you all about my book, The Ultimate Step-by-Step -step Guide to Your Spiritual Awakening. Hey, hey, Taurus. How y'all doing out there, huh? Let's do it, you guys. Let's throw down for Taurus. Spirit source universal energy what do you know about taurus and what do they need to know and understand about themselves their lives and their futures spirit what's coming towards taurus what do they need to look out for what do they need to look forward to and most importantly how do they navigate everything for their very best and highest good spirit please tell me where that stopping point is i will cut three times and i'll pull straight from the top Please give me the eyes to see it, the ears to hear it, and the words to explain it. Okay, let's go. One, two, three, two, and three. Bottom of the deck, the five of wands, conflict. The moon in reverse, something you're going to have to come to terms with. The hermit in reverse, the ace of swords in reverse, and the wheel of fortune. Beautiful. That'll make sense to you in just a minute. First card out is strength. Whatever's going on, there's going to need to be some courage and some strength required. The seven of wands in reverse, overwhelmed, giving up. The Prince of Pentacles, same old, same old. The Three of Swords in reverse, coming to terms with something. And the Prince of Cups in reverse, emotionally disgruntled. The Ten of Cups in reverse. The King of Pentacles in reverse. The Ten of Pentacles in the center of the reading. Judgment and the Six of Swords. Interesting. y'all can hear my dog in the background I apologize he's a puppy and he doesn't quite get it yet the two six of swords to the two of cups temperance in reverse the sun in reverse the queen of wands the king of cups the seven of cups the fool in reverse the eight of swords justice and the princess of pentacles to the eight of pentacles very very nice look the three of wands the six of wands we're going to take that empress in reverse the queen of swords in reverse and the queen of pentacles in reverse to the princess of cups and the three of pentacles in reverse to some foresight and some contemplation and reevaluation look to the nine of pentacles fantastic Fantastic. All right, let's make some sense out of all of this. Let's see what the heck this story is. All right, you guys. All right, all right, all right. So we open this reading with strength. First card out sets the tone for absolutely everything. This Taurus has the strength. They just need to tap into their courage in order to utilize their strength. This particular Taurus has the strength to do what needs to be done to achieve great, great success in their life. Okay? To the Four of Wands, if you will muster the courage to utilize the strength that you're going to need to overcome a certain something 
in order to step into your path and your purpose. You can create the safety, the stability, and the comfort in your life that you desire. And then the sun in reverse. You're not seeing something clearly, and that's what this reading is going to bring to your attention. You're not perhaps seeing what is standing in your way of creating the kind of life that you want to create for yourself. The seven of wands in reverse and the prince of pentacles, because this particular Taurus has not been dealing with something, been avoiding dealing with something. Perhaps you don't even know that you need to deal with this particular something, but it's been steady, stable, day after day, month after month, year after year of not recognizing this, what we're going to reveal in this reading, this aspect of your life. The Hermit. The Hermit says, let's sit down and talk about some things. Let's talk about this sun in reverse. Why are you not seeing this whole situation clearly? Well, because the wounded child inside of you is running the show in this particular facet of your life. Mm -hmm. That's what you're not seeing clearly. And the Hermit says, let's sit down and have a deep, deep soul-searching conversation. We will show you the way. You are in a place vacant place and we need to show you we need to illuminate for you the path by which you should go here is the staff of life it is going to bring you the stability that you need to transverse the terrain that is ahead here is the lantern here is the light that's going to show you the way the path of your best and highest good sit with me and let's talk about this the Hermit also, on a superficial level, talks about this particular Taurus being walled off. Okay? The Nine of Wands in reverse, very similar to the Seven of Wands in reverse. Okay? Seven of Wands in reverse is about not conquering something, not dealing with something. The Nine of Wands in reverse is about being overwhelmed by something to the chariot in reverse. And this is the reason that your life isn't going in the direction that you want it to go. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Universal order wants to take you. They, they want you to climb in the chariot, deposit the self-control, the willpower, and the determination that it's going to take to make this chariot go. That is the fuel for the chariot. Willpower, self-control, and determination. Willpower to what? To understand what it is this reading is going to tell you. Self-control. To do what? To control yourself. And determination. Determination to do what? To put in the effort that is needed to change the situation. You deposit those three coins into the chariot and the chariot begins to roll forward. To the Ten of Pentacles, um, it's about your stability, your safety, your money, your foundation, your legacy, your life, the foundational stones of your life. The universe wants to take you to the Ten of Pentacles, but you have to get in the chariot in order for it to deliver you to the Ten of Pentacles. To the King of Wands in reverse. What's the problem here? Well, this particular Taurus, whomever this is for, if this was your own personal reading, we could nail it, but this is a general reading. The King of Wands in reverse represents someone who is processing life from an egocentric, self-centered perspective, from the human perspective. Okay? This is someone that is not believing that their soul is attached to source energy. This is someone who's not believing that they are a part of universal order, that they are a beautiful tapestry in divine orchestration. This is someone who is trying to create the kind of life that they want for themselves in and of their own power. And up to this point, whoever this is for, it's not working for you. To the Nine of Pentacles. In order to have the kind of security that you desire to have in your life, you need to stand in your independence and self-sufficiency. Okay, this is a card about someone that is taking responsibility. 
This is a card about someone who is going to understand the whole rest of this reading and employ it, internalize it, and employ it into their life. I cannot pass up the Nine of Pentacles without iterating that this is a card about, about entrepreneurship, independent, self-sufficient, self-made entrepreneurship. You have the Nine of Pentacles and one card back, you have the Ten of Pentacles. This is your future. If you have an entrepreneur, entrepreneurial endeavor that you are thinking about or trying to get up off of the ground, this reading is definitely for you. The Three of Swords in Reverse. This is about coming to terms with grief, sorrow, pain that is being carried in the mind. Coming to terms to the Eight of Swords because you're locked down in your head. This is immobilization because of fear. Mm -hmm. Immobilization because of fear. What's the immobilization? Well, the Prince of Cups in reverse. This particular Taurus has not come to terms with fragmented emotions from the past. Okay, that goes back to that Sun in reverse, the wounded child. Mm -hmm. The path to happiness, success, and vitality is always the correction of the wounded child. This particular Taurus has some baggage that perhaps they don't realize that they have. Maybe they do realize that they have it. Either way, it's about fragmented emotions. You see, because the guy in the Prince of Cups in the upright, this guy right here in the upright, he's come from all the water cards behind him. Reversed, upright, he's come through all of them. And he has sorted through everything associated with each and every one of those emotional processes in the water, in the cups, in the tarot. He has come to terms with himself. He's about to become the queen of cups. And he has decided in that one golden chalice in his, in his hands, heart center, that he is going to take forward into his life only the things that bring him a positive experience. In the reverse, this is someone who has not sorted through all of those emotions up to this point. This is someone that is an emotional, internal wreck. And your life can't be what it is that you think that, that you want it to be if you don't have control of your emotional state of being. It's part of manifestation. The magician, lesson one of the major arcana, the major arcana are the guide stones to living a successful human experience. Lesson number one in the guide stones of the major arcana is the magician. The magician understands that he has to have control over the four elements that make up his human nature. He has to have control over his emotions. He has to have control over his sense of well-being, which means insecurities as well. He has to have control over his mind, and he has to have control over his desires, inspirations, aspirations, his flesh. That is the first lesson of everything that every human being needs to understand. If you can't control yourself, you cannot control the output of your life. This is so important. Let me repeat this for you. That is the first lesson of everything that every human being needs to understand. If you can't control yourself, you cannot control the output of your life to do what it is that needs to be done in life. This is unmet expectations. Perhaps people in your life from an early age have not expected very much of you. I don't know about y'all, but my dad being an Italian family and the age bracket that his generation was, he told me the best that I could ever, ever accomplish in life was to find a good husband and raise a bunch of kids. That was the set expectation of my life from birth. I have overcome this. 
This reading is not about me. This reading is about you. This is about someone who has been bamboozled into believing that they don't have the ability to do what it is that they desire in their life. Ace of Pentacles. Got to sow those seeds on new ground. You can't keep sprinkling seeds on sour ground and expecting them to grow something. That's why they're bringing up that there is some kind of internal mechanism, some kind of wounded child that is running your emotional show. You've got an eight-year-old kid running your whole life, and you're out of control of yourself. We need to rein in that wounded child so we can till up the ground that is going to produce what it is that we want to grow in our life. Ace of Pentacles is new opportunities, new soil to grow new seeds. And that's why they've explained this whole top row to you. We need to till up this mindset, this emotional baggage, so you can grow the seeds of your life to the world. The seeds of your life cannot grow in the existing cycle. The seeds of your life can only grow when you come to terms with this emotional woundedness that keeps your mind paralyzed. The world card is the end of an old cycle and the beginning of a new cycle. This is where the universe wants you to focus. They want you to focus on whatever it is about you that makes you think that you can't have the kind of success that you desire to have in your life. The world card shuts down this old long-standing cycle of the eight-year-old running the show and takes you into the new ground where the new seeds of your life will be sown and grown. The Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay, back to this, all of this emotional baggage right here. Maybe you had a shitty childhood. Maybe you weren't given the tools that you need to do what it is that you need to do. That's an excuse. That's bullshit. You have the tools to do what it is that you need to do. You don't need to be given life skills from another person to be able to do what it is that you need to do. That's what your soul is for. It's why your soul is here to lead you and guide you and show you through the maze of this human experience what's important. Ten of Cups in reverse is broken home, broken family, broken feelings, broken dreams, broken emotions. To the Four of Swords in reverse. Four of Swords in reverse is mentally restless about a lack of success. And they're, again, pointing out to you, look, it's right underneath the wounded child of the sun in reverse. This is this particular Taurus's issue. They feel like they got the short end of the stick in life, and now the deck is stacked that and now the deck is stacked and now the deck is stacked against them. Mm -hmm. and the five of cups. And this particular Taurus is filled with despair and regret. Somehow, some way. Perhaps this is a Taurus that is lamenting about a marriage that didn't go right. Well, what you got to understand is that you chose this marriage, this marriage with this person, because you are allowing your wounded child to choose your romantic partners. Mm -hmm. Two, the King of Pentacles in reverse. King of Pentacles, to me, as a reader, is Taurus. Okay, I know a lot of people say it's Capricorn, but this is my world. These are my cards. This is my interpretation, and it's always the Taurus for me. King of Pentacles in reverse talks about this Taurus being out of control of themselves. Out of control of themselves. See, it, but this card is actually about controlling. So this particular Taurus is trying to control their life but what they're not understanding is that they are really out of control of their life. I asked what the root of this card was, and it's the hangman in reverse. Resistance, delays, stalling. 
you, Major Arcana, saying resistance. Resistance to what? Resistance to acknowledging, admitting that you're doing it the wrong way. Resistance to the recognition that the wounded child is running your whole life. Delays and stalling to everything that could be and should be yours, Taurus. To the Ten of Cups in reverse, right? Lamenting about this Ten of Cups in reverse that we just talked about over here is the reason that your life is not moving forward. To the Five of Wands, it's the reason for the conflict. Center of the reading. Center of the reading, the Ten of Pentacles. This is your future. You can achieve this. This is your future. To the fool. But we got to level up. We got to level up in your spirituality. You have to handle this wounded child. You have to handle this past crisis in your life. Because recognizing where it came from and refusing to allow it to be your core identity is the secret to your success. The fool doesn't have an itinerary. He doesn't know the who, what, when, where, why, and how of things. All he knows is that he is going to do something to change his situation. You cannot crave change in your life and do absolutely nothing to attain it. You can think and fantasize and want change till the cows come home, as we would say down here in the South. But it's not going to do anything until you get yourself under control and actually do something to change your life. That's why they're drilling you about this emotional issue in the whole top row here. The short end of the stick. Broken home. Broken family. Didn't get a good start in life. Don't have the support. Snow. So what? Do something about it. Change it. Close your eyes. Feel your soul, your ancient higher self that was here before you took your first breath. The same ancient higher self soul that will be here when you take your last breath is the exact same soul that resides within you right now. And it's trying to lead you and guide you and show you the very best life that you could possibly have matching your desires and your inspirations, showing you how to bring those to fruition and fulfillment in this lifetime. But this particular Taurus is so consumed about getting the short end of the stick in some significant situation in their life that they're just spinning their wheels. This Taurus doesn't believe that they can be anything but what they are right now. And the fool in the Ten of Pentacles says, absolutely not. The fool is Major Arcana speaking to you. Close your eyes, feel your soul, and go in that direction, even when you don't understand it. There is a new way. There's a new beginning. There's a new journey. And it is rooted in the Ten of Pentacles. Money, success, foundation, security. To the star, no less. This is your path. This is your purpose. Get out of the paralyzing mindset of the Eight of Swords. Turn the page. Deal with this wounded child issue and take control back of your life. Turn it over to your soul's understanding. To judgment. This is a calling. You have a calling on your life, Taurus. The inspirations, the aspirations, the desires that you feel inside of you, the way that you want your life to be, the things that inspire you to be alive are the threads that you are sewn from. No matter what anybody says, no matter the obstacles in your way, your calling 
in life is to follow that which inspires you to be alive. Hardcore, serious, line in the sand decision to say it all stops here, right now, today, to the Six of Swords and sail away from the mental baggage that has been handed down to you from generation after generation after generation. To the King of Swords in reverse, because it's all lies. It's all lies. You've been lied to, Taurus. You have. You've been lied to. You've been made to believe that you don't have the faculties to do what it is that you desire to do, to be what it is that you desire to be. You are allowing an identity that belongs to everybody else to dictate your entire life. You are not the wounded child. You are a strong, beautiful soul who came here to do something special. You are important. Your life has meaning. And if you will get your flesh out of the way and tap into your deep soul's understanding, you will be guided every step of the way to an immense, crazy amount of satisfaction and success in your life. It doesn't get any better than the Ten of Pentacles, the Fool, and the Star, Taurus. Brand new beginning, brand new journey comes from a leveling up of your spiritual understanding. It leads you straight into the path and the purpose of your life, the reason you were born, the reason your soul took its first breath in your meat suit. To the Five of Pentacles, I can't though. I can't. I don't have the skills. I don't have the money. I don't have the ability. Everybody's told me my whole life what I am, who I am, what I should be, and how I should go about doing it. And it's caused me a great deal of emotional volatility. Mm hmm great deal of emotional volatility. The King of Cups in reverse is someone who is emotionally unavailable. So that tells me that perhaps this wounded child right here is the result of a parent or whomever was responsible for bringing you up. Perhaps they were emotionally unavailable, which created a great deal of invalidation in your emotional state of being. And because of that, you're locked down in that eight-year-old kid who believes what they were told. Oh, you can't be that. You can't do that. You've never been validated. You've never been held up. You've never been encouraged. Bullshit. Six of Swords. Leave it behind. The baggage doesn't belong to you. The baggage belongs to everyone else but you. It's not your cross to bear the lack of expectations that the people in your life have for themselves. Ace of Swords, see it clear. Truth. Aha! Truth moment. See the clarity of what these cards are telling you right now. To the Ace of Cups, this clarity, this aha moment brings emotional growth into your life. It means that you actually begin to grow past that eight-year-old kid that you're stuck in. You grow past the Knight of Cups in reverse. To the Hierophant. The Hierophant is inner knowing. The Hierophant is receiving direction from the divine, whatever that is for you. The Hierophant is about contracts, commitments, sometimes marriage. But more importantly, this Hierophant is your inner knowing. Trust in your inner knowing and follow it. Uncover all the stones. Follow your inner knowing judgment in reverse because your self-doubt is going to continue to create bad situations and bad decisions in your life. Your self-doubt is the root 
of this whole reading. Your self-doubt is why you are paralyzed in the Eight of Swords. Your self-doubt is why the sun is in reverse. They need you to believe in yourself. Your higher self, your ancient soul has been here so many times before. Follow it, listen to it, and stop arguing with it. To the Four of Cups. Contemplation and reevaluation. Stop arguing with your ancient higher self. See, in this card, you think you got it nailed down. You got this compartmentalized, you got that compartmentalized, and you got that compartmentalized. This is how it's supposed to be. This is my identity. This is what I'm capable of. And this is the only thing that I'm ever going to achieve. And the fourth cup is being offered to you by the hand of God saying, no, take what's, take the information that we're giving you. It's going to bring stability to your emotional processes and you will see once and for all the aha moment that is going to change your life. You don't got this. You need some help. And we have commissioned Dana to read this story for you to justice in reverse because the injustice of your life is your own lack of accountability. Ouch. Ouch, ouch, ouch. The injustice of your life is your own lack of accountability. The injustice of your life is you believing what everybody has assigned to you. The injustice of your life, the lack of justice in your life, comes from your own mindset. The changing of your mindset, okay, brings you to the Fool, the Star, and the Ten of Pentacles in the center of your reading. This Two of Cups, first card, third row, this Two of Cups is this new phase, this new way of your life. The Three of Pentacles, teamwork and collaboration. This is an offer of some sort from someone that is going to catapult your existence. To the Knight of Swords, communication, a message of some sort, a message to the Emperor from someone that has the power to change your life to the magician in reverse. This person is going to provide you with the opportunity, the vessel, the direction, the path to explore the aspect of yourself that is tied to the Ten of Pentacles. The Magician in Reverse, in this particular instance, is about your untapped talents. Because remember, the Magician in the Upright is the first lesson of everything. This dude has all four elements of his human nature under control. He understands that in order for his soul to set free the dominoes of life, he needs to control his mind, his emotions, his flesh, and his insecurities. And he needs to focus it all in the direction of what it is that he's trying to cook in his life. In the reverse, this is someone that doesn't understand how to do this. And if you will surrender to the path of your life, to the destiny, to the divinely orchestrated path of your life, to your path and your purpose. If you will close your eyes and feel your soul and be brave and courageous and strong and step out of the box and into the real you, your soul's understanding of life, you will have some kind of communication from someone that has the power to open the doors for you that need to be opened. And that's the emperor. Temperance in reverse. 
temperance in reverse to the sun in reverse. Again, back to not seeing clearly, not seeing clearly, temperance in reverse. This, this chunk of you that is downtrodden, this chunk of you that is not balanced. Temperance, like the magician, like the entire deck of tarot cards, is rooted in the four elements that make up the human nature. The mind, the emotions, the desires, and the sense of well-being. Earth, water, air, and fire. In the reverse, temperance is about someone who is not balanced in those things. Why are you not balanced in those things? Because you are allowing the wounded child to direct and run the show. You're not seeing clearly why you are imbalanced. To the devil in reverse. It is time to detach from your own toxicity mm -hmm. and release your limiting beliefs. What are your limiting beliefs? Well, whatever's got you bound up in that Eight of Swords energy right there. Your limiting beliefs, whatever it is that is keeping you from taking action in your life. To the Three of Wands and prepare yourself for what's coming. Get ready. See the forest through the trees and begin to prepare your mind, your emotions, your desires, and your sense of well-being. Bring it all together in the upright so you can receive what's about to come into your life, Taurus. What's trying to come into your life, the Two of Pentacles. Make this a priority. Balance out temperance in reverse, the magician in reverse. Balance this out so the old cycle can close. Take accountability for why you believe what it is that you believe about yourself. To the queen of wands, so you can be successful. The queen of wands is eyes on the prize. The Queen of Wands knows her worth, she knows what she wants, and she knows how she's going to get it. The Queen of Wands doesn't believe anything that she has been programmed to believe. She's independent. She breaks out on her own, and she marches to the beat of her own drum because she knows that her value comes from deep within and not from the exterior. To Temperance. Temper yourself through everything that we have just talked about. Balance out everything and step into your power as the Queen of Wands. To the King of Pentacles, balance yourself emotionally. Tap in to your ancient higher self and balance yourself out emotionally. Seven of Cups, this is not balanced, right? Options, choices, decisions, confusion, wanting to get something started but never having any follow through, wanting to change jobs but never having any follow through, wanting to leave a shitty relationship but never having any follow through. To the fool in reverse is a foolish waste of your time in this lifetime on this planet. And when you get to the other side, you're going to be sorely disappointed that you let this life experience go by believing some kind of bullshit that doesn't even belong to you. It's foolishness to the Eight of Wands in reverse. And it keeps you sequestered. Eight of Swords, double eights. Movement, action, change is what the Eight is about. Your disbelief in your own ability is the direct cause of the lag, the sludge in your life. The Eight of Swords, same Eight of Swords, paralyzed in a mindset to justice in the upright, not in the reverse, in the upright. It is in your best interest. It is good and right and fair and proper and in your best interest to take accountability for everything that we have said here if this reading is hitting you. This is going to bring the new opportunity. You taking accountability for the way that you're going about controlling yourself in this life experience changes 
everything for you. Absolutely everything. Let me repeat that. You being accountable for the way that you are creating your life changes everything. To the Princess of Pentacles. Princess of Pentacles talks about new ground, new opportunities. The second that this particular Taurus decides that they can and they will, despite where they came from, despite the obstacles that they have had to overcome, when this Taurus decides that they will, they do. The Eight of Pentacles. Working, engaging, building, compounding, taking all of your lessons from the past and making them actually work for you. The Ten of Wands in reverse, dumping the overwhelming burden of carrying the garbage bag of an identity that was given to you, that you were born into, instead of creating your own world and your own life and your own belief system and your own identity. The Three of Cups. This brings you to a place of renewal and allows you to energetically connect with the soul mates in your life that are going to open the doors for you to live your soul's purpose and not your silly human understanding of life. The Three of Cups is your soul tribe. The Three of Cups includes the communication of this emperor that allows you to develop your untapped talents. This Three of Cups is the star, is the fool, is the Ten of Pentacles. These are your soul tribe people who are going to escort you, usher you, and help you in the next phase of your life. To the Six of Wands, because overcoming the battle, what's the battle? That Eight of Swords. Overcoming the battle leads you to a great deal of success in your life. The Empress in reverse, because you ain't doing it right right now. You're not doing it right. The Empress, we talked about Lesson 1 being the Magician. What you think about comes about, period. Lesson two is the high priestess, your ancient self. She's not here, but it's your ancient self, your higher self, constantly pointing you towards your true north. Both of those lessons equal lesson three. The guide stones of life being the major arcana build on each other. Lesson one makes lesson two. Lesson 1 and 2 makes Lesson 3. Lesson 1, 2, and 3 makes Lesson 4. Lesson 1, 2, 3, and 4 makes Lesson 5, and so forth and so on. Read my book. It explains it all. The Empress is the dirt of life. But you, my friend, are the Empress in reverse. Out of control codependent on the identity that other people have decided is what you should be, not following your intuition, not manifesting your life the way that you could be manifesting your life, succumbing to the challenges instead of overcoming the challenges, being unaccountable for the challenges of your life instead of being accountable for the challenges of your life. This isn't the way to get shit done. You have to flip her in the upright because she's filled with saltiness with the Queen of Swords in reverse. Saltiness. Look, the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. She's filled with upset in the home, the family, the finances. She's, she's filled with salt and vinegar. And you cannot create a beautiful spiritual journey in your life if you're holding on to saltiness because you got the short end of the stick somehow some way princess of cups grow emotional growth grow the three of pentacles in reverse lack of teamwork a lack of collaboration you can't have what the universe has in store for you if you don't emotionally grow out of the understanding of an eight-year-old kid. To the three of wands, again, second time, have some foresight, understand 
Begin to prepare yourself so you can receive. Align your frequency with universal order instead of the dead flesh. To the Four of Cups, and contemplate and reevaluate how you're going about doing things, Taurus. To the Nine of Pentacles, independent, self sufficient. Again, if you have an entrepreneurial endeavor in your life, this is particularly important for you. The Nine of Pentacles, she owns herself, she owns her shit, and she is a self made person in this card. Own your shit, Taurus. Stop stop pushing it off on everybody else. Well, I can't be successful because my mama and daddy can't pay for my college. I can't be successful because my husband won't let me work. I can't be successful because I have a family and a wife and a household that I need to take care of first. All of that. Whatever it is that is holding you in that fool in reverse, whatever it is that is keeping you from moving forward is weights around your ankles. Own yourself, own your ambitions, own your desires, focus everything on becoming who it is that you want to be instead of accepting what it is that people think you should be bottom of the deck, the wheel of fortune, massive turning point, massive turning point. When you align yourself towards universal order, universal order has no choice but to take place in your life. There is not a big fuzzy guy in the sky that cares about you. I'm sorry to break that to you, Taurus, but it's not. There's physics and science and the physics and the science say that if your frequency is high, it's going to align with high frequency people, places, and situations. If your frequency is low and wounded, then you are going to attract low vibing, wounded situations over and over and over into your life. Wounded people. Bought wounded bosses, wounded lovers, wounded parents. If you run with turkeys, you're going to attract turkeys. You need to break free from your social circle. You need to break free from your family circle. And you need to focus and concentrate on you what you want, what you believe, not what daddy believed and mama believed and generations before me believed. What do you believe? Because this wheel of fortune is going to continue to pass overhead over and over and over again, looking for you. And the second that your energetic frequency matches that of universal order, you're going to get sucked up into it. And all of this beautiful stuff that this reading is talking about is going to break open in your life. But if you stay wounded and low vibing, bleeding all over your life, it's just going to pass you by because it has no room for that bullshit. To the five of wands, it has no room for conflict. The ace of swords in reverse. The universal order has no room for someone who does not see their own vision. The hermit in reverse. The universal order has no room for someone who is not willing to do some deep soul searching and introspection. To the moon in reverse. You must come to terms. The moon is the Achilles heel of every single human being if we could all just conquer the moon card. The moon is the struggle between that which you know to be true and that which you don't necessarily want to accept as the truth. The moon in reverse is the truth. Seeing the truth, seeing clearly. And if this reading has hit with you, this moon in reverse is you seeing clearly what it is that you have to do about your life, accepting the fact that you are responsible for your state of being, accepting the fact that you have the power to change your state of being. Mm -hmm. 
The reality of the situation is that you are in control of everything. The fallacy of the situation is that you are accepting an identity that does not belong to you. It belongs to the people who gave it to you. And that's what these cards want you to know, Taurus. They want you to know that there is a beautiful, beautiful, successful future waiting for you. Don't you believe for one second that you can't achieve more than your mama or your daddy or your sister or your brother? Don't you believe for a second that you are sequestered into a box that will never let you grow? You get to decide your destiny. You get to decide your fate. You get to decide how successful or unsuccessful you will be in your life. You get to decide all of it. And these cards are promising you a beautiful future. And all you got to do is create it. All you got to do is create it. Namaste. You are a soul having a human experience, not a human having a soul experience. You are a beautiful thread in the tapestry of universal order. You are ancient and never ending. You have a purpose. This life experience has meaning and you are important. Your journey on this planet in this lifetime is not by accident. You are exactly where you need to be right now. Walk with me through the antiquated concepts of spiritual ascension with a step-by-step -step guidebook to help you find your higher self and mesh your consciousness with your soul's guidance to live with intention and purpose. This book is gender neutral, religion neutral, and judgment free. It is a safe place to explore and expand your desire for growth and understanding. There is no agenda here. There is nothing that you should or should not be. Just straight talk that will challenge everything you think you know about this thing called life.